everybody, Pastor Kenneth Turner here, St. James Bible Fellowship Church right here in St. Louis, Missouri, with the church where God is exalted, the word is explained, and yes, people are empowered. We want to thank you this morning for tuning in to our live stream worship, where you're going to receive a never-changing word in an ever-changing world. Worship is already in progress.
church all over the building have me singing I really love the Lord Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you because you've been good to us, far better to us than we could even be to ourselves, oh God. Dear God, we say thank you for your grace. Dear God, we say thank you for your mercy. Dear God, we say thank you for your angels of protection. Dear God, you've kept us all up and down the highways, and we just want to say thank you. Dear God, you didn't have to give us another day, but since you did, we just want to say thank you. Look and have mercy now, oh God. On these are our special guests, the Boston Baptist Church, oh God. Dear God, look in on them and look in on the one who's going to bring the message in the name of Jesus. Dear God, we thank you for Pastor Turner and his wife, oh God. Dear God, we thank you for St. James as a whole. Dear God, we thank you for all the musicians. Dear God, and if you've never done another thing else for us, if you've never done another thing else for us, we just want to say thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray and ask it all. Amen and thank God. Come on, church. I really, I really, I really love the Lord. I really love the Lord. You don't know, you don't know. You don't know what he gave. Well, this is the time of fellowship here at St. James Baptist Church. We're going to ask everyone, everyone in the room to stand on their feet. Amen. And we're going to ask you to go and greet somebody you may not have spoke to this morning and just tell them I'm glad to see you here. Glad to see you. Come on, come on, come on. Tell them I'm glad to see you here this morning. Ha! 
one more time church oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness thank you pastor Christ amen thank you amen amen to the voices of St. James amen how many know if you only got two teeth they look better when they together how many know that amen you only got two amen amen they look better when they together amen and I tell people it's not a lot of us here at St. James but one thing we are somebody shout together Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Minister Karen is coming. She's going to do our uh, welcome and our responsive reading. You have the papers are being passed out by Sister Tanya now. Amen. When we do our responsive reading, she will give us instructions on the stand, and we're going to follow her lead. Y'all know how we do this. Say amen. Amen. But she's going to come with our welcome. After our welcome, I'm going to do something that I know going to just take the service to another level. Amen. After the welcome, I'm going to ask for Boston to come and to accept the welcome. Amen. And I'm going to tell you right now, I already know they're going to show out, so I'm just going to throw that disclaimer out. Come on, clap your hands for Minister Karen. Amen. Amen. Good morning, good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. My task is to welcome you all. Well, I could have a welcome speech. I can say that you are so welcome to St. James Bible Fellowship Church. We welcome you to the city of St. Louis. We welcome you to St. James Bible Fellowship Church where Pastor Kenny B. Turner is our pastor and the lovely Sister Paula Turner is our queen, Amen. our first lady. And St. James Bible Fellowship yeah. Church, we are. We welcome you all. We are celebrating 33 years yeah. and we thank you all, Boston came to set it off with us and we are so grateful that you all came to join in and join us with this celebration we are so grateful for you all for coming you all got on the bus y'all left y'all house y'all got gas y'all came for gas y'all got dressed y'all look beautiful and you are so welcome into the house we welcome you to eat we welcome you to, to just have yourself a wonderful time we welcome you to praise the Lord. We come to give God, magnify yes. the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that God has done. So you are welcome in the house of the Lord. It says, when you come into the house of the Lord, you come to do something. So now you have that welcome to do. You are welcome to raise up your hands and give God praise. You are welcome to open 
we thank you all for joining us. We thank you all for thinking enough of our pastor to accept the welcome for coming and coming strong. We thank you. We appreciate you. We love you all. And we thank you in advance for coming back. We'll see y'all soon. Uh oh. She said, We'll see y'all soon. Uh oh. Did y'all hear her say, We'll see y'all soon? Oh, my, my, my. Any, many, mighty, more. Y'all know I got, I got this bad leg, so I got to sit down. Any, many, mighty, more. Who from Boston? Did it turn up the whole show? That's what I want to know. Who from Boston? Yo, turn up the holy no shot. Oh, wait, hold on. We gonna, we gonna come to you. Give her that mic. We gonna, oh, oh, she gonna come up here? We gonna come. How you gonna do it? Dr. Shirley from from the historical Boston Baptist Church, 4226 Jackson Avenue. Long time standing member. Y'all must be clapping when we y'all must be clapping when we talking like this. I want you to come right behind that sacred desk. I want you to take your time. Come on. We got time. Talk to somebody and say, we got time today, y'all. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes.
responsive reading. Amen. God's word. God's living word. Amen. God's instruction. And I'm asking that if we can all stand on our feet if anyone needs. If anyone needs the word, if anyone needs the reading. I will read the leader and I would ask that we join in with congregation and we're going to read together. Amen. 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 Our church anniversaries. Responsive reading comes from Proverbs 3, 1 through 6. And it says, My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep up my commandments. Congregation reads, For the length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy
Come on, church. I'm going to stay on. Oh, yes. I'm going to stay on. The oh, yes. Till I die. I'm going. You can put your paper down now and clap your hands. Come on. Come on, just clap. Let's make one big choir. Come on. Oh, Take it to the table. I'm getting ready to sing. Say, neighbor, I'm getting ready to sing. I don't know what the other people are, but I'm getting ready to sing. That's it. Come on, clap your hands. Come on. I'm going to treat everybody right. I am going to treat. That's it. Come on. I'm going to. Oh, yes. I'm going to treat everybody. Everybody. Come on. Oh, yes. I'm going. Oh, yes, I'm going to Until I die. Last time, I would trust. I will trust. Come on. Yeah. Sound good, y'all. That's it. Come on. I will trust. Come on, I will. Yeah. Stay with me, Nick. Oh, yes. Now just let me say, in the Lord. Oh, in the Lord. 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 Where is your hope? Where is your hope? I ask you a question. Where is your hope? Where is your hope? Where is your salvation? I can't hear you. In the Lord. Watch it in the Lord. Look at somebody and tell them it's in the Lord. All of my help comes from the Lord. All of my help comes from the Lord. In the Lord. In the Lord. Who woke you up this morning? How did you go to sleep last night? How did you go to sleep last night? In the Lord. I will trust in the I will, I will trust in the, until I die, I will trust, I will trust, here we go, I will trust. Until I die. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Look at somebody and say, keep trusting in the Lord. Keep trusting in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, voices. Amen. Y'all can come down. Thank you, voices. Amen. Next to some of you all seated. Amen. You'll see some pom-poms. Amen. Amen. Those are 
the same thing as we used to say, if I couldn't say nothing, I'll wave my pom-pom. Amen, amen, amen. Pastor, that's something that we came up with when the pandemic happened. Amen. We were preaching, and I wasn't hearing much amens, but it was because the people had masks on. So I said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some pom-poms. And if they can't say nothing, where are your pom-poms at, y'all? Let me see them pom-poms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the preacher know. and Let the church know whose side you're on. Amen, amen. Help me say it again. Keep trusting in the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen, amen. Thank you, amen. Thank you for our music ministry. Thank you, amen. We're just about, amen, finished about another 10 minutes, and we're going to be transitioning over. Amen. Thank you, uh, Sister Lisa. Y'all give them a hand. Sister Lisa, Sister Karen, Minister Karen, amen. Pastor Grice. Amen. Brother Justin, amen. Thank God for all of you. Our Memphis musician, he done came already. Come on, hit me somebody. Then plugged in and tuned in. And that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Amen. I remember them days. Amen. You didn't just wait till it was your time to play. Amen. You just got in and fit in. Somebody said, get in and fit in. Amen. Amen. That's how we were raised. Amen. Amen. And thank you. Amen. Dr. Shirley Flanagan. Amen, for accepting, amen, that wonderful welcome of invitation. For those who are watching, let me greet our online church, amen, and not only our online church who are viewing on Facebook, on YouTube, and Twitter, amen, but uh, we are here on the scene, and we thank God for those of you who are watching on the screen, amen, amen, not only those who are on the screen, but those who are listening in by telephone, we have a faithful church, amen, that listen in by telephone. And so, therefore, since the pandemic, we're no longer just St. James 1644 Simple, but now we're St. James everywhere. Somebody say St. James everywhere. Amen. We're St. James everywhere. Amen. We ain't got no more address. Amen. We ain't got no zip code. We just St. James everywhere. And so we're so glad to have all of you watching, listening, Amen. And who the, or those who listen via the Boston Baptist Church, amen, Facebook page, we're just glad to have, amen, you tuning in as well. And keep in mind for those on the phone and those who are watching, don't act like you're in church. Keep in mind you are in church. You are just in church, amen, via your smartphone or TV or telephone. Say amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Uh, we're getting ready to go further in our service, and I want to say, amen, uh, Sister Flanard, I enjoyed that wonderful invitation, accepted that invitation. I got a little distracted when my wife walked in. I didn't know who she was. Amen. I got distracted. I mean, I was all into what Sister Shirley was saying. I was, yeah, yeah. And boy, this tall black thing come walking. I, being escorted by, I said, I forgot what she Boy, I forgot what she had picked out last night, and I saw what she picked. Babe, I just gonna look. I said, look good. But I forgot all that, and then she come out, I said, hold on, wait a minute. I, I was married now, y'all. I can do that. Amen, amen, amen. Not only happy wife, happy life, amen, but it's also happy spouse, happy house. Come on, talk to me, somebody. We both gotta be happy. Come on, help me, somebody. Amen, amen. Give First Lady a hand, amen. Give her a hand, y'all. Amen, 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 amen. Elder Claiborne, amen. Sister Claiborne, where are you, Sister Claiborne? Where are you, Sister Claiborne? Amen. Wave your hand, amen. Wave your hand, my sister. Wave a little longer, wave a little longer. Amen, 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 amen. We're glad to have Sister Deborah Claiborne, amen, and Pastor, amen, Elder Claiborne with us as well. He's going to bring the message, and I tell you, he going to preach today, y'all. He going he gonna to preach today. He going to preach. Amen. He gonna say, look, look, look at somebody. Say, he going to preach today. Amen. And y'all going to say amen today. Amen. And I want all y'all amens while the chicken is frying and while the, while the uh, greens are being warmed up. Amen. While the barbecue is being, amen. That smoke, I'm just telling you what it is. Amen. Amen. While all that stuff is going, y'all got to work real hard not to get distracted. Because it ain't no wall to hide the food from the amens. Amen, amen. So y'all make sure y'all push the preacher. Amen. Push him. Somebody say push him. 
Amen. You make sure you push the preacher. Amen. 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 I want Boston to prepare to get ready. Amen. To come. Amen. Sister Or, we're going to have you. Amen. As they transition up. Amen. I know Boston. Amen. I've been. I was born in this church. Amen. Say amen. amen. Lane Avenue and Boston Baptist Church. Amen. Amen. Nine seventy four Lane Avenue and forty two twenty six Jackson. Amen. Them were two churches where I was born and reared at. Amen. And as they prepare, amen, I don't want them standing long. Amen. They're going to come on the stage. Amen. And as they're preparing to come on the stage, amen, and the musicians getting ready, Sister Aura's going to come and she's going to, amen, give us, amen, just a talk, amen, about what St. James means to her. Say amen. 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 Right before she come, Boston, you all can come, amen, and start getting in position because after she finishes, amen, then we're going to go, amen, down Highway 55. Come on, help me somebody. We're going to go down Highway 55, amen, and we want you all to, amen, sing. We want you all to just have a great time, amen, in the Lord. Say amen. 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 I found out quite a while ago. You don't, you don't have to have church long. You just got to have some good church. Oh, look at this choir. Look at them, y'all. Look at them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want them to prepare to come. Amen. Amen. Oh, look at them, y'all. Look at them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, look at them. Boy, I tell you, the Bostonians. Amen. If you're ever on YouTube, amen, ever on YouTube, ever on, amen, you can look up. Reverend Oris Mays in the Boston Baptist Church. You can look them up. Amen. You can look them up. Amen. Sister Ora, come on real quick. Amen. While they're positioning, and then we're going to come back. Amen. And bring them. Amen. Introduce them properly. Amen. Somebody say amen. Thank you, Mother Oravon. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Sister Joan, amen. We're going to have you come with your poem a little later, right before the preaching time. We don't want these Bostonians to stand too long. Say amen. 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 If they do, I hear it. I hear it the whole way. Amen. Well, let's go down 55 South. Amen. Take 55 to 240, exit off at Jackson Avenue and right there to the right. Let me tell you what you're going to see. You're going to see the friendly church by the expressway. Boston Baptist Church, Memphis, Tennessee, Mass Choir. Come on, let's receive them as they come. Amen in their own way. Hallelujah.
about to say, you are blessed. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Woo! Clap your hands, church. Come on. Clap. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Sister Belinda, Amen. I want you to have your stuff ready at the. Amen. Woo. Tell the world. Tell the world that I am blessed. I am blessed. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Oh, yes. Clap your hands and give the Lord a hand, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Joan Rankin, amen. Sister Joan Rankin, amen. Clap your hands for Sister Joan Rankin. Amen. Sister Belinda, after Sister Joan come, I want you to come and just, we've already greeted our special guests, but we have local guests as well. Amen. Sister Belinda, so come on, work your way to the front with your apron on. Don't worry about it. This is church gear. Amen. Every Baptist church know what that means when we see you dressed up and got an apron on. Amen. We know, we already, that, that means you part of the faithful few crew. Amen, 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 amen. One of our beloved members, one of our beloved members, Sister Joan Rankin, amen, has been with us a long time. We converted her from CME to Baptist, AME, AME. Okay, we converted you, she corrected me, from AME, amen, to Baptist, Amen. Now she's a part of us, and we're so glad for many, many years. We affectionately call her Reverend Joan Rankin, even though she ain't called to preach, but on, on our church telephone, she keeps her pastor together, and so we, we just joke with her and call her Sister Joan Rankin. Receive her as she comes. This is our St. James Maya Angelo. Giving honor to God, who is the head of my life, Pastor Kenneth B. Turner, Lady Paula D. Turner, officers, members, special guests, 
St. James everywhere. Good morning. I would like to recognize a friend of mine. I'm so glad she was able to come. Her name is Jackie Keller Smith. Will you raise your hand? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm d going to do a reading, and my topic is inner peace. I find the peace of God in the silence within me. The Hebrew scriptures tell the story of the word of the Lord commanding prophet Elijah to stand on the mountain before the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by as he waits. Elijah fails to find God as he endures, a wind strong enough to split mountains, earthquakes, and then a fire. Then Elijah discovers God in a sound of sheer silence. Sometimes chaos surrounds me as I try to find peace of God. I persist in my efforts as I confront inner storms, fires, and earthquakes as I search for peace. Like Elijah, I remain steadfast in faith, undisturbed by what is happening around me. I wait for distractions to pass. Peace is mine. And after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a sound of sheer silence, a still, small voice. First Kings 19, chapter 12, verse. Thank you for your attention, and may God bless all of you. Amen, amen. Sister Belinda, amen. Give another hand, y'all. Inner peace. Amen, amen. Good morning, everyone. To God be the glory for all the things that he has done for me. It's a blessing, a privilege, and an honor to stand before you all on the climax and the finale of our 33rd church anniversary. And I'm yes. so happy to say that I have been here all 33 years. I've been here during the up, and I've been here during the down. We've been on this Miracle Corner for 33 long years. We know that people have counted us out, but we know that we have come this far by faith, leaning and depending on the Lord. And he has never, ever failed us yet. And I can say to each and every one of you all, over here at the James, we have faith. We have strength. And most of all, we have dignity. And I just want to thank each and every one of you all for coming out and joining in with us this morning. And I hope a song will be sang for you. A word will be said to carry you during this week. Thank you so much for coming. And please, please come again. He gonna make me play the way he playing, ain't he? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound.
Look at somebody say, Grace brought me this far. Come on, look at him and tell him, Grace brought me this far. And grace shall lead me on. Look at him again and say, Grace brought St. James this far. Grace brought Boston this far. And look and tell him, Grace going to take us on. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give the Lord a hand. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, come on. Yes, come on. Let's clap the hand. Come on. Oh, yes. It's worth celebrating. You got something to celebrate and thank God for what he brought you through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just about preaching time. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, if you only knew what I've been going through, you wouldn't be looking at me. You'll be praising him too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is so worthy. God is so great. And he's worthy to be praised. Come on, musician. Come on. Get it out. Come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Clap your hands, church. Come on. Woo. Oh, yeah. Don't let this story is off. I've been trail. Come on, church. Yes, yeah. Somebody ain't worried about the clothes you got on or who looking at you. And think about this time last year. We weren't able to gather like this. Come on. Woo-hoo. I got a praise. I got a praise. I got a praise. I got a praise. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap them hands and give the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. 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 You know, it was just not long ago that all of us, amen, it was not long ago that all of us were not able to gather like we used to gather. And so I've heard many of you say, not just yourself and myself, but many others say, I can't wait till we get back in the house of the Lord. Oh, I'm going to praise the Lord. Well, that mindset should still be, real softly, that mindset should still be in your head that you're going to still praise the Lord. Say amen. Amen. Look at somebody and tell them, I don't know what God then brought you through. But he showed and brought me a mighty long way. And I got to give him my due praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout, hallelujah. Somebody shout, glory. That's up. Been so good. Oh, yes, sir. Look where he done brought me from. Look where he done brought me from. Look where he done brought you from. 
You could have been stretched out across the church, laying on your back with your eyes closed. This could have been an obituary, but God didn't let it be. Look at somebody and say, God didn't let it be. Oh, yes, sir. He been real good. He been real good. He been real good. Oh, yes, he has. My, 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 my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at somebody say, take the brakes off. Take the brakes off now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like acting dignified. And I like acting all that, but this time to celebrate. Amen. I'm like Sister Shirley Flanard. I don't know what next year going to hold. I don't know what's going tomorrow going to hold. So I'm going to give God my praise while I got a chance. Hey! That's it. That's it. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Reggie, can I go with me on this? Come here. I know he been good to me. I know he been good to me. That's it. That's the song. I know he been good to me. Watch it, boy. I know he been good. You see, sometimes, sometimes them fast songs, they want to shout, but it's too fast for them. So what we're going to do is just slow it down for them, just like the rest. Clap your hands. I know. Now listen, everybody can shout off this beat. Look at, look at somebody say, everybody can shout off this. Come on, help me say it. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I know he been good. Come on, help me say it. I know you've been. I know we have been good to me. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I know we have been good to me. That's it. That's it. Come on. I know we have been good to me. That's it. Keep it up. Come on. I know we have been good to me. That's it. Quartet. I know we have been good to me. Ask somebody, have you been good to you? Ask somebody, have you been good to you? Come on, ask him. Have he been good to you? Earl, Arkansas, have he been good? Have he been good? East St. Louis, have he been good? Have he been good? Wynn, Arkansas, have he been good? Have he been Blava, Arkansas, have he been good? Come on. Have he been good? Have he been good? Well, tell him. I know you've been good. Come on. I know we've been good. Come on. I know we've been good. Bar and City, I know you've been good. Yeah, yeah, I know we've been good. Come on, I know you've been good. Hey, I know you've been good. Yeah, 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 I know you've been good. I like that. I know you've been good. I like that. I know you've been good. Come on, church, clap. Oh, I know you've been good. Oh, I know you've been good. I, 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 I know you've been good. I, 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 I. Oh, you've been so good. Woke me up this morning. I saw a brand new dog. Gave me health and strength. Gave me activities of my limb. Oh, I, I know you've been good. Wait at somebody and say, I know you've been good. Wait at somebody and say, I know you've been good. Oh, I know you've been good. Oh, yeah. Bless you, bless you. Well, listen. It's preaching time. It's preaching time. I'm going to have to come up there and unplug that organ because you're going to try to make me shout on this bad leg. Let me hear that keyboard. Let me hear that keyboard. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Clap your hands, church. Clap. Come on. Now just break the music. Let me hear them clap. Break the music. Let me hear them. Break the music. Let me hear them clap. That's it, right? Yeah, just that foot. That's all I need. Yes, sir. Come on, let me hear them clap. Let me hear them Baptist claps. Come on. Y'all remember that old church like this right here? Y'all remember that? Ooh, we have a church in here. Ooh. I'm going to see how y'all are ready. Help me say that. No music. There's a lily in the valley. And it's there is a come on, y'all. Bright as there really is a come on. I don't see how y'all still sitting down with your church. Stand up, stand up. There really is a And it's Come on there's a Yes Yes sir Bright as But it's There is a Uh huh Oh yeah Hey Hey In the valley, and it's there is joy. Minister, you all. Hallelujah. Amen. For those who may not know, amen. When you're a musician and you travel this far, you come to play. Amen. And you got to get it out. You got to get it out. Amen. 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 We're making ready for the preach word of the God, and the preach word of the gospel. Say amen. Amen. And let me set this. Let me set the tone for you. We're going to. Uh, uh, like a good restaurant, I t often tell people this, fast food restaurants, when you go to a fast food restaurant, you go to the counter, you look at the menu, and you place your order, and you pay for it right then. Amen. You pay up front. They give it to you in the bag, and if it's messed up, well, you got to ask for a manager. Amen. But then when you go to a fine establishment, the waiter wait on you, bring your food to the table. You don't stand. You sit, tablecloths, all of that good stuff. And then after you've eaten, then they give you the bill. Come on, help me somebody. Amen. Well, St. James is not a fast food restaurant. So we're not taking no offering before the meal is finally served. Come on, help me somebody. Amen. We're going to give after. The whole meal is complete. And I can look across this room and already tell that ain't nobody going to run out without paying me part of the bill. Amen. Say amen. Amen, amen, amen. We want the food. We want this spiritual food to be hot. This preacher, amen, is ready to preach. Amen. And we're going to help him preach, ain't we, y'all? Amen, amen. I thank God for this brother beloved. Amen, amen. The time that I have known him in passing and then in these past several months, amen, the year and a half or better that I've gotten closer and been in contact with him, 
He has done nothing but shown himself to be two things, friendly and consistent. I say it again, friendly and consistent. Amen. Friendly and consistent is what he has shown himself to be. Amen. Amen. I've been pastoring here 23 years. Amen. And I can certainly tell you, uh, pastoring or even serving in that position of interim pastor is nothing easy. Amen. Amen. It is nothing easy. Amen. And I tell you, if it was not a calling on a person's life, I would not understand why a person would even want to do it. I often tell our church, and I'm going to say this, I often tell our church, amen, that uh, I understand why uh, when Noah got off the ark, the first place he went was found the bar. Amen. And it was because he was dealing with so many people. <laughs> amen. But I thank God for this preacher being friendly and consistent. Amen. As he serves as the interim pastor, as he serves them through this time of transition, yeah. say amen. Yeah. Amen. He is not a wolf in sheep clothing because the word of God has told us to watch out for those that come as sheep, that come as wolves dressed in sheep clothing. But I can tell you I've seen different layers of him. Amen. And I can see that he is truly a shepherd. So I want you to receive him. Let's pray for him. Amen. In the person of elder, I'm calling him Pastor Elder because pastor is not a position, it's a passion. Amen. And so I called him Pastor Elder Joseph Claiborne. Let's receive him as he comes and bring the word of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, let the church say amen. If you're not ashamed, say amen. If you love the Lord, say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. About 301 miles southeast of here stands the house of Boston built by none other than Dr. Horace Lee May filled with enough people to just tell God thank you for the good things you've already done is there anybody in here ain't ashamed Hallelujah. 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 Amen. To the angel of this house and the personality of Pastor Kenneth V. Turner. Uh, amen. Put your hands together for that. A few things that I discovered in learning more about Pastor Turner. Number one, he is true to his word. He is a friend beloved. And when I saw his wife, I realized he wasn't blind either. Amen. To First Lady Turner. Amen. What a beautiful person that she has also shown herself to be. For I know the gift bags that was given that came from her. It came. I know. I know. I know it did. I know it did. I know it did. And all that was contained within. Uh, allow me, if you will, Sister Claiborne, do you have that now? Amen. Come now. First Lady Turner. It is a privilege that has been passed down from generation to generation. 
that you cannot love on the man of God without loving on his wife. And there was some things that was purpose for her. Got a name engraved on it, nice and pretty. Nice lap scar. Amen. Amen. There's a couple other trinkets in there as well. We pray God's blessings upon you. Amen. To this August body of believers, the St. James Fellowship Church family, amen. Amen. You all have rolled out the red carpet. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When, when the bus arrived on yesterday and we saw the signs and the welcome and everybody just seemed to be so excited. Amen. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. I also want to honor my big brother, Pastor David Lee Clark. Amen. Pastor Clark is the proud, preeminent pastor of the True Light Baptist Church in Blytheville, Arkansas. Amen. And he, too, is a son of the House of Boston. And we're so grateful to God for his presence and his wife, Sister Cora Clark, First Lady Clark. Amen. 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 And again, to my beloved wife of 40 years. 40 years. Yeah. Stand up again, wife. Look here. I've been pretty all my life. Come on, man. Yes, yes, mama, I've been pretty all my life. And, I, and, and it's because I have a pretty wife. God has blessed us with four pretty children. Now he's blessed us with about eight so plus grandchildren. He's extended our family to four more children. And it seems like God just loved loving on us. And I just felt like, well, if you love loving on me, I'm going to love on you a whole lot more. Amen. Amen. To all these preachers, to deacons, to their well, to the greatest church on the other side of the Mississippi, the Boston Baptist Church family. Amen, 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 amen. We are so grateful for you being here to our musicians this morning. Amen. Brother Reginald Hughes, amen. Amen. Brother John Cummins, amen. Brother Rodney Garrett, amen. Amen. We we're so grateful to God for their presence. Well, it's another day's journey. Hold on, I got one more woman. To my St. Louis family, raise your hand. There they go, there they go. Y'all thought we came by ourselves. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir, yes, sir. To that St. Louis connection. Amen. Let, let me say it this way. This is just for them, and it's more particular, and they'll understand it best. That is to say, for too long, you know, whenever we've come and whenever I had to stand behind the sacred desk and they came to be with us, it was because we was coming to say bye to a family member, to say see you later, to say fare you well to somebody. Look here, St. Louis, we came today to turn up. Let somebody know you're here. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. I mean, look here, I'm not going to hold you too much longer. That was probably more than I got to say. I'm not going to hold you too much longer. The food is cooking. The grease is getting hot. The greens are getting done. And, and, and black people like to eat, even if they already ate one time already. Amen. Amen. Come on, help me. I need your help this morning. Is that all right? Come on, repeat after me. It's time to be blessed. 
by the word of God. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall stand forever. Come on, put those sanctified hands together for that right there. Amen. To our own driver, Brother James Garrett, amen. We bless God for him. Amen. Amen. Brother Garrett has been driving Boston for, what, over 35 years or so. Amen. Amen. One day, Brother Garrett told me one day the story was, was that Pastor Mays got tired of waiting on them other guys to keep showing up to drive the bus. He told Garrett, learn how to drive this thing. And, and Garrett did just that. And from that time forward, he's been driving the house of Boston. We bless him. We honor him. If you have your copy of the Lord's Kingdom Constitution, please go with us over to 1 Samuel, the ninth chapter. I'm just, uh, I heard them singing all along. I'm a soldier. And I can't imagine a soldier left home without his sword. 1 Samuel, the ninth chapter. 1 Samuel, the ninth chapter. I brought a, with us also friend and mentor in the personality to Mr. Clifford Wiggins, Deacon Clifford Wiggins. Th will you raise your hand? Thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. 1 Samuel, the ninth chapter. First Samuel, the name chapter, a little bit of reading, if you can stand it, uh, beginning at verse 1. First Samuel, the name chapter, beginning at verse 1. That's Old Testament for those who are still not making it back to Bible study. Amen. First chapter, excuse me, First Samuel, the name chapter, beginning at verse 1. It says, now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror, the son of Becherot, the son of Aphia, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice man, a goodly. And there was not many among the children of Israel goodlier person than he. From his shoulders and upward he was higher than any of the people. Verse 3. And the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. And Kish said to Saul his son, Take now one of the servants with thee and arise. Go seek the asses. And he passed through Mount Ephraim and passed through the land of Shalisha. But they found them not. Then they passed through the land of Shalem. And there they were not. And he passed through the land of the Benjamites, but they found them not. And when they came to the land of Zuth, Saul said to his servant that was with him, Come and let us return, lest my father leave Karen for the asses and take thought for us. And he said unto him, Behold now, there is in this city a man of God, and he is an honorable man. All that he saith comes surely to pass. Now let us go thither. Peradventure he can show us our way that we should go. Then said Saul to his servant, Behold, if we go, what shall we bring this man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of God. What have we? And the servant answered Saul again and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver. Go back up to verse 3. I think that's why I want to hang my head in. Verse 3. And the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. And Kish said to his son, Saul, Take one of thy servants with thee, arise, and go seek the asses. You may be seated in the presence of God. I want to talk this morning for a few minutes from this thought looking for some asses come on come on stay in church with me stay in church with me don't lose me don't lose me don't lose me I'm in the lesson right I'm right here it's in the book it's right here I, I, I know where I am I know 
who I am and I know whose I am. And I'm in the book. Uh, I'm in the book. I'm in the book. I, I, I know some of you may use it differently, but I'm in the book. So, Pastor, what it, what it was is I discovered that in each city, specifically between Memphis and St. Louis, there are variances in dialect that could easily throw somebody off. Because I heard it. I felt it when I said that. You know, which is to say, if you're in Memphis, Pastor, if you were to say, I want a drink, they're not looking for a brown liquor moment. Now, I know you don't have none in here. I ain't worried about no St. James folk. But, but if you ask them what they may be just looking for, is a Pepsi or a Coke. Yeah. And where is that in St. Louis? If you ask for a Pepsi and a Coke, they're looking for a soda. It's the same thing, just different, just different dialect. Just a different dialect. And, and, and maybe just in a more common vernacular, I could have used something differently because I'm in a different setting, in a different crowd. I could have used a text, I'm like, I'm looking for some lost asses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let me keep on. I got to keep going. Let me keep going before I, somebody turn the Facebook page and turn everything off and switch channels on me. Uh, uh, let me get into my lesson. Is that all right? Church I listen here opens with the introduction of the soon-to-be anointed king of Israel. Yeah. For in chapter 8 of 1 Samuel, Israel had demanded that they be appointed a king. And God heard their cry. And he permitted Samuel to go out then, the prophet, and go then therefore and anoint Israel's first king. So our lesson, our lesson opens with Kish, the father of Saul, having lost something, something Something that he deemed to be precious. Something that meant enough to him. Watch this. That he thought enough that it was his interest and it was best for him that he was sent now out for that thing that was lost. And he sent his son to redeem it, to go find it, and to bring it back home. You still with me, right? Well, and, and, and what I love about this lesson is that it did not detail to us by what means these asses had become lost. But what it did tell me was that the same thing, or in this case, some things that truly mattered to the Father had been lost. And he cared enough for them to send help to find them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's good news this morning. To know that there is some things that are so important to the Father that it mattered to him that they be right there with him. And he did not want those things that he loved to remain lost. So the Bible says that Kish who for our point in this lesson today can be likened then unto God the Father. And he took note to the fact that something that he loved, something that mattered to him, had become lost. And he needed to bring it back home. Now be mindful. Everything that we deemed as lost is never out of the sight of God the Father. For he is omniscient. And the text does not say that the Father needed someone to come and tell him that the asses was lost. It said that when the time came, he, the Father, that is then determined that that thing that he had, that thing that he loved so much, was lost. 
that he thought that now I need to go and get it and bring it back home. Now watch this. It's not because the father had lost them, but what really happened and what really took place is that, see, when we forget our way back home, yeah, when we get so far away from the Lord, when we allow things to get between us and God, when we get to a point in our walk that the thing that we should be connected to has gotten so far away from us that it won't be long that the very thing that we're looking for, it'll be hard for us to get back to it because we've gotten too far away. And what's wrong with the church today is too many of us has gotten so far away from the Lord that the reality is that God has not lost you, but you forgot how to get back home. So in our text, a loving father knows just when to send help to bring them that was lost back home. Church, uh, when we began to think about the fact that they were lost, it made me ask that proverbial question, what happened? Yeah. What took place that the asses, which obviously mattered so much to the father, what happened that they became lost in the first place? Well, I, I remember Pastor Turner, a sermon that was preached by Dr. B.W. Smith, entitled, Watch Them Dogs. Mm -hmm. And in it, he told the story of how the church and those that were in the church who sometimes took on characteristics. Now, he didn't call nobody a dog, but he said they took on the characteristics of dogs. And, 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 and he talked about one type of dog that when he said this dog was small and feisty, one that always barked at all the big dogs. And if you look around, wait, let me turn, turn around. Don't look around. Don't, don't look around. There are some small, feisty dogs still in the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're small-minded, but they keep up a whole lot of mess. Yeah, so, 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 so one day, one day he said, this small dog found an opportunity that when he saw a big dog passing by his fence, he jumped off the porch, ran down to the fence, and started barking at the big dog as he passed by. But what he did not realize was that when he got closer down to the gate, the gate was open. And the big dog had opportunity to reach in and grab the small dog and started taking him any which way but loose. Yeah. When that small dog had opportunity to then get away, he got up on the porch and he just simply said, who the hell left the gate open? Because he realized yes, that talking me, yes, talking a lot, yes, talking at the wrong time, yes, saying stuff you shouldn't be saying. Yes, You're in church, but you stop need to stop cussing. You're in church, but you need to stop talking about your brother. You're in church, but you need to stop looking down on other people. And when he realized that he ran into the wrong dog. Yes, sir. 
brother preachers. I just believe that the asses got out because somebody left the gate open. Yeah, well, 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 I, I began to survey. I began to survey the land and I, I discovered that it was sin that opened up the gate. Yeah. And whenever sin shows up, you best believe something that is precious, something that is valuable, something that means a whole lot to you is bound to get out. Yeah, yeah. Can I, uh, well, let me, let me call in a witness right quick. The Bible says that when God created man, he made him in his own image. And in his likeness did he make him and she. I just want to make sure I included everybody. And, and, and he said in Genesis 2 and 15, And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden, a perfect environment, and put him there. And he told him, Now dress the God and keep it. Yeah. And the Lord God commanded the man saying this, of all the trees that are in the garden, thou can eat. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat thereof. For if you eat thereof, in the day that you do, thou shalt surely die. Well, let me put it on this term. If you eat of it, thou shalt surely be separated. If you eat thereof, you will surely be lost. You know the story, right? The Bible says, not long thereafter, Satan showed up. Ain't that the case? I like the way Paul said it. When I would do good, evil is always present. When I start to live a life for Christ, flesh always seems to rise up. Well, let me go back here because I know where I am in a house that James built and in the form of Dr. Turner. When I finally get myself together, it appears that is then that all of a sudden trouble will show up. When I finally get the house no paid, it seemed like the roof started leaking. When I finally get the car paid off, the transmission started messing up. When I finally get a good checkup at the doctor, my spouse gets sick. Whenever things get the going well, the enemy always shows. That old, that old snake in the grass. And he'll convince us that what God said, you just misunderstood it. When we come to church and the preacher preaches, but before we can get out to the car, the enemy shows up. Yeah. You just come down from the choir loft. Took off your robe. That one that you got healed just for your side. The one that you just got out to clean us. You took off your robe. But before you can turn around, somebody done picked up your robe. And now the enemy shows up. Because them fight words in the church. You don't know what I had to go through to get that road clean. It been sitting in the back all that week. I went and got it. I poured it out. Took it to the cleaners. Got it cleaned up. Went to church. Sung to the glory of God. Now somebody took my road. And then we become just like that little dog. After we've been tossed to and fro by the trials of life. And if we're able to escape, what we want to then ask was who the hell left the gate open? What happened? 
Well, we, we church, I, I, I don't know when, but I know that it was sin that left the gate open. And the asses that I'm now looking for are lost. So, so, so we discovered that we know that they were lost. We also determined that they were precious. For a church, precious is a term that denotes that something that is beloved, something that you seem to care about, something that matters so much to you. Book after book I've read where it is written that the power of a mother's love is precious and is complete. <laughs> a lady by the name of Catherine Pulsifer, she wrote a poem that says, a gift from God is a mother's love. It's so real that I know it was sent from above. No matter what I say or do, my mother's love will always reign true. Church, our lesson shows up that the precious in the sight is a father's love. For what he had lost, that he sent his son to then go pay his bun, to gather back and find which was lost. I'm getting ready to go. Good morning, St. James. I discovered the Bible says, for God, for God, let me stretch out and say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only, his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him shall, shall, shall be saved and never lost. But church, I found out that the father loved me so he would not let me stay lost. He sent his son. His son came down through 40 and two generations. Got over one cold December night. Went around doing good. He opened up the eyes of the blind. He unstopped the ears of the dead. He untied the tongue of the dumb. He wouldn't let us stay lost. Is there anybody in here glad one day he came back looking for those that were lost? He came back looking for them that needed delivering. I'm so glad he found me. I'm so glad he found me. Pick me up. Turn me around. Turn me around. Turn me around. Yay! On a hill. Far, far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. For my redemption, he gave his head to a thorny crown. For my salvation, he gave his side 
to the hole for my penalty. They nailed his hands and nailed his feet. Dr. Ishman is not here right now, but I call on when he was sad. If you think I'll fight you, here's my hand. If you think I'll run, here's my feet. He But he wouldn't stay dead. They took him down from that old rugged cross. They buried him in a borrowed grave. He stayed there all night, Friday night, all day. Saturday, over in the midnight hour, Saturday night, there came a rumbling and a tumbling. The Bible said he went down into the antediluvian world. He told Moses, he told Elijah, he preached a six word sermon and he said hold on a little while longer and then he knocked her back no out of the grave stood up on resurrected ground and declared all power all power is it my out of time, but we're certainly not out of message. Thank you so much for joining in this morning to our live stream. We pray that something was said that will help bless your day. Hope to see you soon. Have a blessed and great day. Who want to know them for themselves?